So they say, say in sports, if they call you Bulldog, you must be pretty good. Now, two of the most famous Bulldogs in Canadian sports history, of course, uh, Scotty Bulldog Olson, our former world flyweight champion and Olympian and Commonwealth Games champion. A little shout out, he's part of our author association in New Brunswick. Uh, Scotty is uh, still the Bulldog for many people and probably the nicest athlete in, in Alberta history. But another Bulldog that we uh, remember fondly because he ch changed the mold for small players, small left wingers in, uh, in the Boston Bruins system. And he continues to be uh, a role model for many. Stan Jonathan. Now, I met Stan Jonathan at an alumni game in Woodstock, New Brunswick in 2010. Uh, he was uh, behind the bench, didn't play. But we uh, started talking. We kind of re reviewed some of the highlights that I saw him do, especially, uh, you know, almost killing Pierre Bouchard and one of the strongest uh, front ends that we've ever seen in uh, hockey pugilist history. Now, he came to heavy prominence uh, for the Peterborough Peets. Now, he had played three seasons with the Peets, and his third was his most successful, where he notched uh, 75 points in 70 games, including 36 goals, with four goals and five assists in 11 games in the playoffs. Now, this allowed him to be officially drafted by the Bruins, even though they had to ride him for quite some time. He was taken 86 overall in the NHL draft, and uh, 100 third overall by the racers in the WHA draft. Now, uh, he was ignored by most other scouts and by Bruins GM Harry Sindon, but I guess Don Cherry saw him play with Peter Burr and said, listen, you gotta, you got to uh, draft this guy. And uh, uh, Cherry uh, said in public reports later on, his proudest moment as a coach was a discovery of his hockey career uh, in Stan Johnson. Now, um, while Johnson played with the Peets, they also represented Canada uh, on the initial international stage as they played third at the first unofficial World Juniors in the 73-74 campaign. Now, Johnson uh, started his NHL career with one game in the 76 season before being called up permanently for 77. Now, he typified Bruins hockey, displaying both outstanding uh, offensive and defensive ability and toughness. Now, uh, Johnson was well known uh, for knocking in rebounds, and Cherry's head coach at the time stated he had the most accurate shot in the league, which he did. As a rookie, he led all players in NHL, player, NHL skaters in shooting percentage at 24%. So let's put this in perspective, uh, ladies and gentlemen. If he had 200 shots, he would have 40, 48 goals. That year, 1978, was his most productive season as he scored 27 goals and added 25 assists. He also had 106 penalty minutes uh, in that campaign. Now, uh, in his second season, he was again among the top 10 players in shooting percentage at 22.3%. He also won the seven-player award that campaign, voted on, the, on by the fans for the player who exceeded expectation. Now, arguably, Jonathan's most famous moment we just mentioned was his uh, savage beating of Pierre Bouchard in a brawl during Game 4 of the 78 Stanley Cup Finals. Boston was trying to tie the set the two games apiece, and Bouchard, for some reason, uh, challenged Jonathan, who outweighed him by 30 pounds and was 4 inches taller. However, uh, Jonathan held his own, breaking Bouchard's nose and cheekbone and knocking him to the ice in a bloody mess. In the same playoff stretch, he contributed to a 5-2 win as he scored a hat-trick in Game 6 of the semis to force a Game 7, which, of course, uh, Boston lost in that infamous uh, too many men in the ice game. Now, his 78-79 season was shorted by injury, but Jonathan played in all of his team's 11 playoff games, and he returned the following year and scored 29 goals and 19 assists. He also added 208 minutes in penalties. Now, the Bruins eventually traded him to the Penguins on November 8, 1982, and retired after the campaign. He finished his NHL career with 91 goals and 110 assists in 411 games. Now, he is a full-blooded Tuscarora, born in Oshawa, Ontario, a Six Nation Reserve near Brantford, Ontario. And uh, the, uh, the, the, the case of Aboriginal skaters... Back in the 70s and 80s, there were just a handful, and, and Jonathan was one of the uh, the most respected. Unfortunately, uh, 
due to a hunting accident on the Six Neighbor Reserve that unfortunately uh, killed a resident from Hamilton in 2012. Uh, he was charged with criminal negligence, and uh, the charges uh, were eventually withdrawn. Uh, basically, that that's something that is an unfortunate blemish on his post-playing uh, career. And uh, all I know when I saw him when he was in uh, Woodstock, uh, very well respected by the fans there, by his teammates, and a wicked sense of humor like most former uh, uh, Boston players. Now, he did uh, uh, go back into senior hockey with the Brantford Mots Clamados in 60, uh, 86 and 87. And uh, also, again, played for World Junior for Team Canada, where he had no points in five games. So Stan Jonathan, like I said, uh, probably overachiever of the decade in the 1970s because in a team like Boston, to stand out, no pun intended, for uh, this, the, the, the five or six seasons that he did. But I still look at that 78 campaign where he had 52 points in the regular season, but for some reason in the playoffs, he had a goal of it. And we kind of discussed that a little bit at the uh, the event. He said sometimes in the playoffs, he said you got your scoring touch and sometimes it's not there. Because he never really produced that much in the playoffs, except for that one game where he got the hat-trick. Because uh, his playoff total will show that in 63 games, he only had eight goals. So for some reason, you know, regular season, players better than the playoffs. It just doesn't may, may make him any bad or any worse, but he, he could have done better for Boston in the playoffs. But then again, he was a, a strong defensive player, Bendy Killer, and uh, the tough line mates he had uh, substituted for him in the playoffs. But again, Stan Johnson, again, a legend of Aboriginal hockey, a legend of the Bruins. And if you do meet him, just mention the fact that you're not a Pierre Bouchard fan and just see how his eyes, like when I told him, I said, good, good shot to Bouchard. He said, yeah, I know, I know. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's election week in New Brunswick. Don't forget to vote. And if you don't vote, uh, uh, it's because you're not from New Brunswick, obviously. Have a good day. Bye.